Spider-Man's coming back, everybody. You guys have been waiting for it. A lot of people uh, a lot of people tweeted me about this or were talking to me about this, man. I didn't get to read all of this stuff. And listen, I don't even at this point I almost don't care anymore about all this stuff. Um, this SJW stuff and these things and everything's gotta have an agenda somewhere. I just spent one hour trying to get my my little girl. Trying to get my six year old to uh, write one sentence. So Welcome to remote schooling, folks. Um, and I also spent an hour trying to get her to draw one little photo, one little picture, just one little picture. Are you homeschooling your kids? Are you, are you doing remote learning because of COVID? I feel your pain. Anyway, Spider-Man uh, with a bisexual twist. It's on, baby, if you can believe it or not. There's a new Spider-Man coming out. And Spider-Man 3 will reportedly star Tom Holland, Tobey Maguire, and Andrew Garfield reenacting the Spider-Man pointing at Spider-Man meme, only with a bisexual twist. I mean, I'm always down for a little bit of, uh, you know, seeing the three Spider-Men pounding each other. According to Fandom Wire, Maguire and Garfield have both signed on to reprise the Marvel superhero alongside the current aggressively twinky Peter Parker Holland, whatever that means, dude. I don't know, dude. That's a, that's written down. I guess at 36 years old, I, I language is leaving me. A Sony source closely involved in Spider-Man 3 said to have um, told the outlet that McGuire and Garfield Spider-Mans will arrive in the film's final act, bringing the Spider-Verse to Marvel Comics Universe for the first time. This latest leak follows reports earlier this year that the bosses wanted to bring Garfield Spider-Man back and give him a boyfriend. <laughs> I mean, listen, let's be honest. If there was going to be a, a superhero that's that's gay or bisexual, I mean, it's Spider-Man. Now, I take a little bit of offense because when I was in high school, there were two people that people used to say I looked like. Or when I was in middle school and high school, people used to be like, oh, dude, you look like you look like Elijah Wood or you look like Tobey Maguire. Those were the two people that people would say I looked like. I wasn't really happy about it. Many girls would say it, too. And some of the girls liked that. Some of them didn't. I don't see it at all, actually, to be honest. But whatever. Maybe it's the hair. But he definitely looks like he may be into some guys. So, uh... You know, hey, I mean, all, all the Spider-Men do. All the Spider-Man, Spider-Boys do, right? They all kind of look a little bit like, you know, you might be into some uh, butt pumping, you know, which is okay if you are. But, you know, I'm just saying. Anyway, um, I got to get back to uh, some remote learning and that stuff. But what do you guys think about Spider-Man 3? And there would be three Spider-Mans showing up. And one of them may actually indeed be uh, bisexual. I mean, Batman, certainly no, right? Superman, probably not. You know, a lot of these guys. But Spider-Man definitely could be butt pumping. Anyway, Spider-Man 3, bisexual twist. Do you agree with it or do you hate this? Do you love it? I don't know. This is uh, Shame on News. I'm uploading this video on both Shame on News and Corrupted Nation if you guys want more stuff like this, make sure you go subscribe to my channel, Shame on News. Um, I hope you guys have a good day. Um, and if you guys want to support Shame on News besides watching the commercials on the channel, um, you guys can check out the Patreon. I want to thank everybody who signed up on Patreon today. Uh, we had five. We have five new patrons today. So we just hit 327 patrons on patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. If you guys want to check out the Patreon uh, and support everything we do on the channels, uh, feel free to do so. It's uh, right there. And uh, thank you to Six for going up to the $10 VIP and to Kevin Murphy for becoming a, a producer, $25 producer. Again, leave your comments down below. We'll follow up in a discussion about this with um, probably Jake DeMarco or some of my other friends, and we'll do a little podcast in the future about this. Um, I'm not, I'm not the biggest Spider-Man fan. I'll, I'll say that. I, I really liked, I think I liked the first Spider-Mans in the early 2000s. Um, I, they kind of lost me on the third one and, and sort of in the second one too. I sort of liked the first one a little bit and that's really been about it for me. I'm not a big Spider-Man guy. I think the new Spider-Man's pretty okay. 
But I thought that last movie was a little bizarre. I don't know. I'm not just not the biggest Spider-Man fan, but I know that some of you guys out there really, really love Spider-Man, so you guys would uh, have better opinions about it uh, than me. Leave them below. I'll see you next time. I'm Joe Cronin. This is Corrupted Nation. Shame on news. And you can't handle the news. Stay tuned for more news right here on Shame on News.